I'm in the kitchen getting a glass of water when Emmy trots in, tail wagging. You should give me a treat, she says. I should? Why should I give you a treat? Because I am a very good dog and I deserve a treat. I'm not going to give you a treat for no reason, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I reach into the treat jar, then hold out both fists. Guess where the treat is and you can have it. Immediately, her nose starts working. No sniffing, either. I put my hands behind my back. Just guess which hand has the treat. Um, okay, both. That's not one of the choices. But it's the right answer. It's like that cat in the box. What cat in what box? You know, the one in the box, with, with the thing. It's, it's dead and alive at the same time, in the box. Schrodinger's cat? Yeah, that's the one. She wags her tail excitedly. I like that experiment. You should do that. For one thing, it's just a thought experiment to show the absurdity of quantum predictions. Nobody ever did it for real. For another, I doubt that people would appreciate it if we started killing cats. I don't care so much about the killing. I just like the idea of putting cats in boxes. Cats belong in boxes. I'll, I'll pass that along to the scientific community. What does this have to do with your treat? Well, the treat could be in your left hand, and it could be in your right hand. I don't know which it's in, and you won't let me sniff to see where it is. So that means that the treat is in a superposition state of both left and right hands. Until I measure which hand it's in, the answer is that it's in both hands at the same time. That's an interesting argument. It doesn't apply here, though. Yes, it does. It's basic quantum mechanics. Well, yeah, it's true that unmeasured objects exist in superposition states as a general matter, but those superposition states are extremely fragile. Any disturbance at all, absorbing or emitting even a single photon, will cause them to collapse into classical states with a definite value. Yeah, but people have seen them, though. Sure, there have been lots of cat state experiments done, but the largest superposition anyone has managed to make involved, involved something like a billion electrons. That's nowhere near the size of a dog treat, which is something like 10 to the 22 atoms. Oh, that's a lot. And on top of that, even in the most extreme variant of the Copenhagen interpretation, the wave function is collapsed by the active observation by a conscious observer. Now, you can argue about who counts as an observer. Not a cat, that's for sure. Cats are dumb. But by any reasonable standard, I count as an observer, and I know which hand the treat is in. So you're dealing with a classical probability distribution in which the treat is in either one hand or the other, not a quantum superposition in which the treat is in both hands at the same time. Oh, uh, okay. She looks disappointed. So, guess which hand the treat is in? Um, I still say both. Why is that? Because I am an excellent dog and I deserve two treats. Well, yeah. Also, I'm a sap. I give her both of the treats. Whoa, treats, she says, crunching happily. 